Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is my video tip of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to get a lot more out of the Google search page. You know, when you go to Google, your page typically is going to look like this. But if you're like me and you visit Google a lot, you probably want to get a little bit more out of your Google page than just seeing the search bar. And you can do that by using a feature within Google called iGoogle. And I'll click it and show you what mine looks like. And I've set my iGoogle up so that it shows me information that's important to me throughout the day. For example, it shows me the current weather where I am and maybe the current weather where I plan to visit later on. It shows me the date and time. It shows me the Google Finance Market Summary, which shows me what the stock markets are doing. Uh, I've set it to show me the tech bargains, the latest things from the latest computer bargains available. I have a daylight map which is important to me because we have customers throughout the world and if I want to contact them or if they want to contact me it's nice to know whether it's day or light there. I have the Amazon best sellers which I keep track of what products are selling well there. I have the most popular Google videos, I have my eBay search and over here I have my YouTube videos. I, I could add a lot more features but these are the ones that I use right now. Now if you want to make your Google look like this I'll show you how to do that. First we start at Google, and if you have a Gmail account or a Google account, you'll notice there's a link here called iGoogle. If you click that link, it takes you to the iGoogle page, and your iGoogle page is probably going to be blank other than the search bar. And to add elements like you see right here, all you have to do is click Add Stuff, and from the Add Stuff page, go down and choose what you want to add. For example, if you want to add news links, you click the news, and it shows you all the gadgets, and that's what those items are, that are news. For example, here's the weather forecast, and if you want to add it, just click Add It Now. And you can add as many different things to your page as you like. And here's Google News, and there's the BBC News, and Scientific American. Anyway, you'll find out there are lots of, of gadgets there. You'll also find there's gadgets for tools, uh, communication, fun, and games, finance, sports. After you set all the gadgets up that you want, you can move them around. For example, if you want your date and time to be here, all you do is grab at the top, drag it over there. And if you want your weather to be in the center, you can move it there. And if you want your uh, Amazon bestsellers or whatever you choose to be there, you can move them around. So what iGoogle does is gives you the ability to add a lot more information to your Google search pages. And uh, it's really useful and it's free. And from that point on, when you click Google, you'll go to your iGoogle page. Instead of Google page, you can change these at any time. Anyway, this is a great new feature within Google. It makes it a lot easier to add things to your page. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. To find more like this, visit www.bmyers.com.